Here's now we're going to head into a Mardi Gras here season. Hopefully uh, people patiently waiting, of course, to hear whether those Mardi Gras parades are going to be rolling in Baton Rouge this year. The mayor president says that decision is still up in the air, but crews locally and businesses say the uncertainty is starting to weigh on them. Uh, Anam Siddiqui joins us now live in the studio. Anam, how are people preparing or are they even still preparing? Kellyanne, while we wait to hear for what's next, the Spanish Town crew is getting their flow together and some businesses are hoping for the best. It's almost the most wonderful time of the year in Louisiana. <laughs> East Baton Rouge Parish was planning on welcoming back Mardi Gras in 2022. Those plans are now up in the air as the Omicron variant surges. And I believe that as uh, I confer with our medical experts and we get through uh, January that we'll have a better grip on what we can, should do for February, including Mardi Gras. Spanish Town Parade President Robert King continues to plan for the parade and ball. We have to plan a role because we have time frames that we have to meet. King is optimistic the biggest party in Baton Rouge will roll on. For now, he says float leaders will decide if they'll have any COVID-19 restrictions. Last year we had like a little reverse parade, but it was nothing like hearing everybody screaming and yelling for beads. It's been a rough 18 months for Mardi Gras businesses, from canceled parades to the rising cost of supplies. It's been very difficult. Thank God for my savings account. Parties start here. Owner Nelson Maddox caters to the Gulf Coast. Maddox says if Mardi Gras is canceled for a second year in a row, he will have to make the toughest decision. This place will be shut down. If the party continues, it will be another story. We will sell out early if, if Mardi Gras happens. Uh, St. Patrick's Day will this year, if it happens to, it'll be bigger than it's ever been. Both carnival lovers are hoping for a purple, green, and gold spring. And the New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell gave the green light for Mardi Gras 2022 just two weeks ago with only some slight route changes. The Spanish Town crew is hoping for the same here in Baton Rouge. Reporting live in studio, Anam Siddiqui, Fox 44 News. All right, thanks, Anam. Laissez la bonne temps brûlée. If I said that correctly, let the good times roll. All right.